people. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before I begin, I'd like to thank Ambassador Rodriguez um, for inviting me tonight at Canning House for Australia. I was very excited to be asked to be uh, part of this event. I, I rate those, the authors uh, very highly, and they definitely are experts in this area, together with all the other professors that have contributed to the book. Um, at the IISS, the organization where I come from, we focus on security issues. And as we have heard during uh, the presentations, uh, the drugs, trade, and security are two issues that come together uh, very much, uh, and not just in Latin America. This is a, an international uh, problem. Therefore, two years ago, we, we launched uh, a project that resulted in a book that was published uh, last month. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at drugs and security and failed states. And we really looked at the impact that the drugs trade has had on drug uh, producer countries as also on countries that are used by uh, traffickers as transit points. Um, I think uh, the book that has been presented tonight is a great contribution to the discussion and is very much in line with some of the uh, conclusions and recommendations that we reached in our own uh, research. And uh, what one of these conclusions is that the debate on drug policy and the war on drugs should really be driven by experts and by uh, fact-based research rather than uh, dogma or emotional discourse and so on. So I realize that there is lots of expertise on Latin America in this room, which is frankly quite intimidating. So uh, instead of pretending I'm an expert on, on Latin American security, I instead going to pick on some points that were mentioned during the presentations and also some points I've uh, picked up upon while reading the book that I think are of particular relevance outside the region. Uh, because I really think this book is a very uh, valuable read for everyone interested in the issue out and also outside uh, Colombia and outside uh, Latin America. Uh, my first point uh, really leads to a question for the, for the authors and relates to the point made earlier about the balloon effect and about uh, the problem um, being perhaps contained in one region and then migrating to, to another one. Um, in this se section of the book, where you assess uh, counter narcotics policies uh, under Plan Colombia, one of your recommendations uh, is that in order to achieve a more effective and less uh, costly uh, counter uh, narcotic strategy <coughs> in the future, we would need, well, Colombia would need to uh, involve greater intelligence work uh, to detect and also infiltrate uh, trafficking routes that take drugs from Colombia into the consumer countries. And I totally agree with this. Um, I'm particularly interested uh, in your views on how to strengthen the cooperation uh, between Colombia and West Africa, because as we know, West Africa has become, uh, become um, a key transit uh, region for, for drugs, uh, well, all drugs, but in this particular context, I think, is important that Colombia, uh, the um, cocaine train uh, coming from uh, Colombia, and for drugs uh, en route to Europe. Um, as we know, by the late 90s, uh, large shipments of cocaine uh, were uh, seized in West Africa, and a greater presence of uh, Colombian and Venezuelan traffickers was registered um, in the region. And I think by 2004, I think seizures of drugs increased sixfold in countries such as Guinea Bissau, Ghana, or Cap Verde, just, just to, make, to mention a few. And even though I don't really like to use seizures as a way of measuring or understanding the phenomenon of trafficking, I think we cannot deny that the increase of uh, trafficking through these countries has definitely had a serious negative uh, impact on, on those countries that are already uh, fragile and, and weak. So my question to you really is, how do you see greater cooperation taking place with African nations and what lessons could Colombia share uh, with those countries? Uh, my next two points aren't so much questions uh, for you, but uh, my own consideration on two key issues that, again, are not just relevant to Colombia, but are very important to too many other countries affected by uh, the drugs trade. The first has to do with economic development. And the second one is to do with drug abuse in drug-producing countries. Uh, 
very often the fight uh, against drug trafficking takes uh, the form of law enforcement and military operation. And I particularly welcome uh, your call for a greater interinstitutional coordination that would translate in a more uh, comprehensive approach uh, to trafficking to include also focus on the economic development of marginalized areas. Uh, poverty, underdevelopment, the lack of education, and the feeling that sometimes that you've been left behind by the government or by the state might drive people, well, some people, uh, to uh, criminality um, as a way to provide for their families. So if we were to address those uh, root causes, perhaps we would see a reduction in the number of people who actually turn to criminality. So again, this is not only relevant to Latin America. For instance, yesterday at the IISS, we had a, a close uh, meeting on Afghanistan, and one of the representatives from Afghanistan was very keen on the need for alternative jobs for Afghans. Um, so, just some ideas. And then my last uh, point has to do with drug abuse. I mean, for a long time, uh, countries that are normally associated with the production of drugs, or are also seen as transit point for drugs, have uh, ignored the growing uh, drug consumption uh, problem internally. Uh, this is true in Colombia, in Afghanistan, it's also true for transit, transit countries such as uh, Tajikistan, Iran, some African states and so on. So I really like your proposal that a uh, demand reduction program uh, should uh, address specifically different types of drugs, of course they require a different approach, and also should uh, be guided by the need of the citizens based on their gender, where they come from, uh, what level of education they have, and so on. So, again, this is something I thought was very interesting and something that people from other regions would really like to hear more about. And um, I think I'll leave it to that. Thank you.